Hey everyone, I'm assuming you clicked on this video because you want to know how to program one of these boards right here, these Pro Micro Nice Nano clones, you could say. I'll tell you that it's not that hard as long as you have the right stuff. I'll start off with telling you about my GitHub. Over here, I have made support for the NRF52 Super Mini and Nice Nano on Platformio. It will probably work on Arduino IDE, but I won't recommend it. I say just go straight to Platformio on VS Code. It is much better and I won't stall any longer. I'll show you a very simple example of how it works and how you can use it. So over here, I have a very simple board that has going from plus three volts to this LED and then over these over over here to three GPIO pins. Uh, sorry, the old slot it in. That here is the diagram, and you can see what pins we're using. We're not connecting on the first one. We're connecting second, third, fourth, which here would be 104, 011, and one hundred. Um, don't know why these boards do it like that, where it shows you this the uh, this way, but it's what they do. And that's not really a problem because just get used to it. And if I switch over to Platformio, I can click on main CPP and you can see that here is a simple sketch where the LED right here and it will just blink as you can see from the sketch. Very simple. You can see how you call here for just the pin number. So you do pin underscore and then whatever pin you're using, you just select that pin and that's really it. I already programmed this board with this exact sketch. If I turn it on, you can see that it goes red, it goes green, something, and it like combines the colors so it turns like white in the end. Uh, but as you can see, it's very simple to use. Uh, I2C and SPI work. So does UART. So everything that you'd really want works. And there's, there's not really much else to say. You can use any of the libraries that you'd want to. If you want to try out one of these boards, I highly recommend them. Uh, way less power than something like a ESP32 right here, or even the newer one, C3 and the S3. It uses BLE. And what can I say? Use it for your next project. It's 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 pretty fun to get started and you can make a a bit of interesting stuff i hope that this video showed you something new about how you can program one of these boards and i hope to see you in another video in the near future have a nice day and i'll see you next time